fairway that's been so hard to hit all day, Peter. It has. And once you go in this stuff, if it's bad, you've got to be very careful, particularly if you go down the left-hand side. This man, I know he's, he's very fit and tall, strong, but he doesn't have a vicious, a vicious swing, I like, sort of John Daly. Pretty good looking shot. It's going to be a nice putt. He's not going to like that. No, he won't be pleased with that. Oof. These guys make this putt about only 11% of the time. Boy, that was an aggressive putt down the slope. A stiffish par five, need a good drive. Very underrated hole. That should be perfect there. Just ripped. You take that. Yeah. Should have no trouble reaching the green in two. This is uh, shot into the par five. Three wood. Oh, what a oh, shot. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. We'll have that for an eagle. This is how you save a round right here. This for Eagle. So, as easy as it gets. Oh. Oh. Low all the way. A little bit more speed would have held that oh. line. after making a big one on the last for birdie. Good follow through. Oh yeah, he's walking it. He's walking it just like his dog. He's having some fun. Just a little outside the tap-in distance. For his birdie, beautiful tee shot he played in here. There's two right there. Very nice, very nice. Nice birdie on the previous hole. Oh, that was loud and hooking it and oh, that, that was just a suffering duck. It's very hard to get birdies and put a good round together if you're missing greens and fairways. 
Johnson, what kind of lie we got here, David? Oh, nasty. He's got to fly this almost all the way to the green. They like it. But it's going to hold up just on the collar. Just stay on the fringe. Not the greatest of shots. Uh, not too bad. Easy chip. That's tidy. That looks like a good four. Making a four, not a bad score today. And he's on the tee of this par four that's played the second toughest. Need a good drive. The gallery likes it. What do they know? Yeah, they do know something. That is just perfect. He's going to like that tee shot. Yep. Perfect position right there. He'll be deciding probably between a pitching wedge and a nine iron here. Oh, he hit that nicely. Pretty popular spot there, about 15 foot past the hole. Very nice, good pace too, just beyond the hole. This is a very good par four. They're always happy to move or move to the next after putting a four on your card here. Little uh, motorcycle kick. And that's a good one. Now that's a nice position to be up the fairway. Clear view of the green. And this ball moving a little right to left, but on a great line. Man, just about collided with that flag. For birdie, and a good chance here. It makes 90.6% of those putts so far this year. The fairway looks like it. It's gonna miss the fairway. And that ball really sat down in that stuff. Well, a very difficult shot. Needs to be struck exactly right. Not a particularly difficult shot. And it'll be safely in the fairway. Good shot from long range. Very hard to get any closer unless you have an enormous bit of good fortune. A little long chip and run, Tommy. Yep.
and a beautiful effort. Nice birdie on the previous hole. Watch out. Yeah. Definitely overcooked. Oh, now that's jungleized. Well, he used to be a superb driver. He misses a few more fairways now. This is an awkward shot. If he finds the green, it'll be a good, precise shot. All caused by a misdirected tee shot. Pretty straight, straightforward pitch and run. Get the distance correct. Probably the poorest chip shot he's played in years. And a lengthy attempt for a par. Confident stroke, too. And that will be a very easy chip across the green. Awkward little pitch here off a tight line. Probably the poorest chip shot he's played in years. Left himself an awful lot to do. He's going to drop shots here, unless he pulls off a minor miracle. Just carried a little too much pace. Now, what's the uh, third change? It's gone back to the three wood. You take that. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Ferdy, what do we got? A little sand wedge struck it nicely. Looking for the right bounce and a stop. It was a good line, but... Boy, it was a great line. Peter right over the flag stick, just one club too much. And a big putt here for Birdie. How important this putt might be.
just tapped it through. Wasn't a bad putt. He did think he had it. Let's go to 11. Put it in the safe, most logical position here at 11. Get his tee shot into the bunker. This is just smashing hope, I would think. Sounded good. A yeah, good strike. Nastiest weather, relatively early this morning, at least. Four or five holes played in miserable wind and rain. David Faraday? Yep. He's got a pitching wedge. I'll tell you what, this is one heck of a golf shot. Nearly went in. Way the only stoic reaction. Everyone else was ooing and eyeing. This for birdie four. Good applause here. Yes, well done. Nice birdie. Mr. McCord, we hand it off to you. Second hardest ranked hole on the golf course. Only one birdie today. Just going with the three wood there, trying to find the middle of the fairway. You know how important it is to be going in from the short grass into this green. Sounded good, Judy. And it is. Spanked through the weather. He can chip it, he will chip it every time. Softly lobs that one down there. Nice, nice. Well, that's one of the strengths of his game, his wedge play, short iron play. Well done. These are the ones that you practice so hard for on the range. They're little quick putt. Most of these guys will hold 20 or 30 of those on the putting green each day just to keep Knocks their confidence right up. Excellent part right, right there. Excellent part. Certainly just a positional par four. has driven it beautifully here. in the air and that ball he hit right by the flag it flew about a foot from the hole
off a nice birdie putt in the last hole. Very aggressive move through the golf ball. And he put it just about in the worst place possible on this hole. Just really a delicate chip shot. Ball sitting down. Not a good lie at all. He was definitely trying to make that. Described as, uh, as the best hole on the golf course. Certainly not an easy one. And not a short hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Not a good drive. Well, slight miscue, I fancy, from the tee. It's very hard to get birdies and put a good round together if you're missing greens and fairways. Don't do anything silly here, just middle of the green. A little, little extra into that one. Yeah, well, you can see that. It's a smoke. It should be perfect. You can't do that all the time, right, David? Every once in a while, you got to give it a whack. No, no, something would fall out. Yeah. yeah. What a shot that was. From where he was, not a bad effort indeed. Excellent effort. Good speed. Always, always up on the stats for ball striking on the tour, driving the ball in the fairway, hitting the greens in regulation. He's always there, always. Not bad. Oh, he won't be far away. Not up to his standard, but not bad. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Just a little bit too much juice. And the long attempt for Bernie. You gotta stay positive when they're just missing like that. I honestly think that any par three over 200 yards, if you're getting it in say 30 to 35 feet, you've hit a pretty respectable shot. Twenty-five feet left for his birdie.
Good putt. You can only hit it where you're looking. Normally a very straight drive of the ball. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not sure that I like it. You've got to find a way. You've got to have a method to find the fairway. He should be thinking five now. Well, I can't imagine him taking more if it's not lying too badly. Trouble off the tee. And more trouble. He was shaking his head as the ball was in the air, and it was with good intent. He will not like that, what he's left himself. Well, from there, anything inside 10 feet will be a terrific shot. Look at that. Very tentative shot. People never forget it. That's a bad feeling when you've got uh, a national TV, all these fans. This is a difficult two putt right here. Peter? If he's down to two from here, it'll be mighty good. And a very makeable putt here. It's looking good. Yeah. 